Just sorting through bent pellet skirts to fill the Diana Storm Rider. Just a little backyard sighting in of my scope here on the Diana Storm Rider 22. Hey guys, I'm seeing lots of waves. I'm seeing 2X Cam, I see Merrick, I see Leo Benjamin, Young Savage. Hey guys, welcome, thanks for watching. Um, just a little backyard plinking. So I've got this uh, Diana Storm Rider in 22. It's a Canadian version. So it only has 495 feet per second as a max velocity. Um, and that is to keep it under a licensed requirement in Canada. So anybody without a gun license can purchase this as long as they're 18 plus. Um, this one came from Air Gun Source. Travis at Air Gun Source was nice enough to send it down to me to do a little bit of testing and trialing and tell you guys about it. Um, so far, so good. I'm shooting this at 25 yards. I am shooting using JSB Jumbo Expresses. They are a little bent. Jumbo Express, that might be backwards to you guys, I'm not sure. Hey, Jamaica Warrior, MD Massey, whole bunch of people coming on in. Hey guys. So yeah, I'm just gonna... It's nice. So another good thing about this for those of you that are from Canada is although it's 495 feet per second rated um, and you don't need a license, I already said that, but uh, it's quiet. This is fun for backyard plinking. I'm at 25 meters and I would be able to take out a rat no problem at this distance with this gun. And I think this one comes in at just over 300 bucks. It's super cheap. It's a PCP. There's no CO2 cartridges. There's no um, worrying about that. Just used a Diana pump as well, a three-stage manual pump. Takes about 50 to 100 pumps to get it up to full capacity. And it's accurate. This is as accurate as my gauntlet, that's for sure. But a lot quieter. Wow. Hey, Dodge Life, Ryan, how you doing? Just Weld, how you doing? How many grains, Leo Benjamin? It is 14.35 grains in 22 caliber. Oh, the rats are gonna hate this gun. That's all I gotta say. What is the caliber? This is a 22. Here. This might be flipped for you guys. I'm not sure. But that's what I'm shooting. In the Diana Storm Rider. Hey. Okay, so here's the Storm Rider. I've got the Hawk Vantage on there that I use also on my gauntlet. Uh, down there is the range. I shoot downhill into the barn. Eliminating any ricochet possibilities, that kind of stuff. Uh, I am in a rural area. Man, this thing is accurate. It's super cheap. She does sound great, doesn't she, Ryan? Okay, so I'm gonna walk you down here and just show you how tight these groups are. I don't know how well this feed is coming through. I don't have the most amount of bars, but I wanted to show you. So look at what I'm doing here. So there we go. This is the other one I was shooting at, just right at the center of this. We're talking an inch and a half, maybe two inches from here to here. Okay, that one's a lot tighter. But uh, yeah, so thanks for joining me, guys. Oh yeah, this, and look at the distance. All the way up there, 25 meters all the way down here. 
So yeah, it does do great groups. I can't wait to uh, try this out with a little pesting, um, hitting the rats in the barn. I've got goats, I've got chickens, and with that you get a lot of uh, varmints, and uh, their days are numbered with this. I don't actually shoot my gauntlet on the property here. It's just a little bit too powerful, um, but this is a backyard beauty. If you've got a decent sized backyard, don't get me wrong. I don't want you shooting this, say, in your backyard, Ryan, where it's a little postage stamp. But if you've got a little bit of space and you've got oh, bugs getting on me, you've got some space and uh, you've got uh, some safe places to shoot, this is a beautiful gun. Now, what's funny is, is most people would think that uh, you know, oh, you want a power rated version. You want to get the the higher velocity gun. But for me, for my uses around here, a higher velocity gun I can't use. So this is absolutely perfect. Again, you could rabbits, squirrels, birds, pest birds, starlings, you name it. Depends on what considered a pest in your area um, hey we still got a bunch of guys Anil hello how's it going oh that was a nasty pellet I don't know if you can see how bent that is let's see if I can get right up there that is really bent pretty sure I dropped this thing somewhere along the lines So yeah, you can pick this one up at Air Gun Source. It's one of the cheapest PCP options available. Pick up yourself the little Diana pump that goes along with it. Um, talk to Travis, I'm sure he's got some sort of package deal that's available. What else do we got in here? Oh man, bent, bent, bent. I think I dropped this tin. I don't think they came this bad. I'm kind of klutzy that way. So I filled this up. Let's try on this one here. I filled this up. Uh, or actually, sorry, let me rephrase that. Travis filled this up and it was full when I got it right at the top level. And I shot maybe six or seven magazines and that's seven shots per magazine in 22 it also comes 10 shots in 177 but about seven mags and i still was halfway full on the canister like it it this thing could shoot for days because again it's not shooting at super high velocities um, i will post up my chronograph results on this uh, shooting in the 460 to 480 range at, what again, 14.35 grain 22. Yeah, you're right, Ryan. This is definitely not a backyard gun for you. Your backyard's a postage stamp. But if you've got an acre or more, there's no issues with this. Even a half acre, if you've got it set up nice. Make sure you follow the rules and laws within your area. Oh, hello, Jason. How you doing? I see... I can't even pronounce your name. Patrick Asal. Uh, oh, man, there's a whole bunch of you guys. Wow, pellet on pellet on that one. Woo, two in a row, pellet on pellet. Hey Jay, could probably take it to the local range, but I don't know, to be honest. It's not really a range gun, because again, it's such low power. I would take it to a field, I would take it to a park, somewhere where you are allowed to shoot in your local area, check with your local laws. Um, but 
in Canada what we call crown land, which is government-owned property. Again, this 495 version, you don't require a license, so um, it's not considered a firearm in Canada. Um, it's just plain old pellet gun. But it's PCP and it's oh so nice and it's accurate. Those are the three things you want to hear, right? Our local is still locked down. Yeah, a lot of us are in lockdown still too with the COVID-19. Uh, businesses are starting to open up again, but uh, I personally believe if you want to be safe, it's best just to stay home if you can. Just stay out of people's way. All right. Julia, Julie Papo 77. I hope that's your year of birth because that's my year of birth. Us old, older guys. Squill Fitz just joined. Howdy, Squill. So for those of you guys that just joined, I'm just in the backyard on my three-acre hobby farm here, shooting the Diana Storm Rider uh, in 22 caliber. It is the Canadian detuned version to 495 feet per second. It's a PCP, it's quiet, it's extremely accurate for what you're getting, and it's cheap. Okay, let's go here. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Let's see if I can get this pellet on pellet. Oh, nice, I can't wait to show this group to you guys. Another nice one. Wow. Okay, you guys gotta stick around and see this group. Oh, I pulled that. I pulled it with my finger. I'll show you which one it is when we go up there. All right. <clears throat> Welcome. Spin the camera so you can see the target. Okay. All the way down there. I'm gonna show you. So I'm up here. Here's my little perch. I get to go all the way down here. Holy smokes, I can't even, oh yeah, here we go. I started out with this, and there was several in this hole. So this was seven shots, I pulled it here and here. Hope you guys can see that okay. So not bad. Um, I'll do one more and I'll actually bring down the, my measuring tool and we'll get an exact measurement. It's at, it's really 24 and a half meters, Jason. So, which is uh, just around 25 yards, pretty close. Um, anyways, thanks for stopping by, Ryan. See you later, bud. Um, but yeah, so I like to call it 25 meters, okay? Um, within six or eight inches of each other. I like how I'm switching between meters and inches or feet okay so here's the gun it's nice there's no moderators allowed in Canada so there is no sound suppression on this whatsoever 
If you guys buy this in the States, it comes with a sound suppressor. Um, let's see here. This is a threaded. I was told that it was an M10 threading. So, as you can see, it's threaded. For the money, I love it. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to shooting now. Thanks for everybody for following along. Um, everybody that came in, I've, people from Colombia, all the way down in Colombia. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll have more of these more often this summer. Thanks, talk to you later.